What is up, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you my first place uh, Dark Law Turbo Hero shenanigans. Team Bro Pyre! So, this is before like Tree Toad or Totally Awesome comes out. So, this is like the deck's going to change a lot when that card comes out. Like, a lot. You got to add the Bahamut Charge, you got to add like two Toads, and just like it's going to make the deck like infinitely better. But, um, and I'm also playing it without Desires right now because I don't feel like buying them yet. So, um, there's that. So, I'm just playing more of a trap heavy build. But, um, getting into it, standard two Monk. Uh, I'm playing three Fish and then uh, three bubble, like, so I'm p playing it like in preparation and like for the toad, you know what I mean, the, the six waters. And um, I'm really liking only two mist. Um, everyone plays three, but like, I really like two because uh, it's just, it makes the most sense, like to me, because you only have like the three targets for it. And then, you know, like you get this out like so easily between like the monks and the fish and like a hero lives, like you always get the mass chain searches. So like, and I would like have this thing when I play heroes, like I never, ever, ever play more than 10 monsters. Like, it's just my thing. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I, I feel uncomfortable playing heroes with more than 10 monsters. But then, um, three hero lives. Um, you gotta play the old teaser hero scrub. And then you play uh, three E call and the rota because it's just like all the surge power, you know, bubble man spam. And then uh, I play the uh, three uh, mass changes and the charge. And then I play the uh, three instant fusions. Um, right now I'm playing the Digesto Emerald to like shuffle the Noden back, but I'm also playing three call of the haunted. So like, I mean, Noden's not like having one Noden's like not bad. And plus, the games go by so fast these days that it doesn't matter. Or if you see two in your first hand, like if you open up like Dark Claw or Flasia, you basically win. And then uh, three twin twisters, just like to make sure that you win. <laughs> like, like, so you open up Dark Claw or Flasia, and then they won't do anything, and they'll set cards, and then you twin twister them, and you just like win. It's stupid. And then um, Raigeki to out stuff, uh, upstart goblin, and then the soul charge because soul charge helps you make like bigger boards, and it's just freaking stupid. Um, and then the traps, like I said, I'm not playing like Pot of Desires because I don't have them yet, so I'm playing like the whole like Solemn Brigade. Um, because it makes sense, and then three uh, Call of the Haunteds. Uh, I really like Call of the Haunted because, like, I mean, getting, like, having infinite monsters, you know, like, you're playing like, only 10 monsters, so being able to, like, keep monsters, like, for rank 4 plays is really good. And then also, like, on your opponent's end phase, you can go ahead and, like, get out Shadow Mist and, like, get a search for a mass change and then, like, you know, on your turn mass change for, like, you know, Anki or Dark Law number 2 and then search for a Bubble Man. So it just makes sense. And then um, one uh, Bottomless Trap Hole, uh, one Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare. Um, this is just what I feel like playing right now. And then uh, Vanity's Emptiness for the, like the last card for 40. And this like, I like you know, Dark Claw Vanities is like really brutal. So, and then um, for the extra uh, double Dark Claw Yankee, um, everyone seems to want to play three Dark Claw. Like I've never thought that three was necessary. Like two is fine. Um, but, I mean, to each their own, especially since I'm only playing, like, two mist, like, I mean, this is, this is fine. And then, uh, the acid, of course, and then for the last fusion, the, the Noden, and then, uh, for the XE's monsters, I was playing this today, um, you know, the, the deck's gonna get a little bit tighter on room, so I'll probably end up cutting out the prime when, um, you know, when, um, the toad comes out like because you're kind of strapped more strapped for a room because the only way to play it then is like double uh bahamut shark double toad that's like just the best way to play it um and then um play the reflasia because dark cloud reflasia is freaking dumb and then um castell blade armor ninja because 4400 is fantastic i played wolf today uh, Dweller, uh, Cowboy, and I played uh, Dagester Emerald. But yeah, but like I was saying, like, you know, all this is gonna change to make room. Like, I mean, I probably won't play Emerald. Um, I probably won't, won't end up playing Wolf, you know, uh, when uh, the Toad comes out, because you kind of, like, sacrifice a lot of room, like, a lot of options for the Toad, but the Toad's, like, just so good. And then today, like, this is also subject to change, but um, I played inside of two Maxi, I decided like three Baylor, which is really good today. Um, then I played the um, Winter Cherries for like Mirror. Well, and, I mean, just like anything. Uh, like, it's like, I mean, so I'm deciding this like in preparation for Toad. Like, I mean, I was playing it today because I knew I was going to be playing a Hero Mirror match. So, like, I, you know, put, I decided this today. But that's just locals. Like, I mean, um, 
like in when Toad comes out, like you'll play this to like get rid of like your opponent's Toad, <laughs> so like they can't like Toad like Toad you on their first turn. Like when you go second, you side that in. I need to get more of these. This is a really good card. And then also like, I mean, I might keep siding Lance, but like. I mean, with the Toad, you don't really need to play Lance. I just play Lance today to protect Dark Claw. Like, that's why I was playing it. But when, when you have the, the Toad when it comes out, there's, I mean, Lance kind of becomes obsolete. And then uh, for Blue Eyes stuff, or just like to get around like big monsters, I played uh, Three Quaking. And then uh, for Pendulums, um, Anti Spell Fragrance, because Dark Claw plus Anti Spell, like, you literally win. It's freaking dumb. Um, but yeah, that's the deck. Um, like, I mean, it's, it's a really good core. Um, you know, to kind of go off of, um, it's, it's going to be, it's going to change like a ton. Like, I mean, double Bahamut Shark, double Tree Toad, like with Dark Long, you win, like no matter what, especially going first against ABC, like they can't do shit. Like you're, <laughs> you're going to win. But uh, anyways, go ahead and dick slap that like button and subscribe.